cables. A cable is used to connect devices in a wired network. There are three common types of cables. Cat5B cables. These are often used in homes and offices and can transfer data at a speed of 10 megabytes per second, 100 megabytes per second, or even 1 gigabyte per second. Cat5B cables connect devices through the NIC. Cat6 cables are more expensive and can transfer data at a speed of 10 gigabytes per second, so it's used more by bigger businesses. Fiber optic cable contains a lot of physics in them. They have a glass thread that bounces light signals between devices faster. Fiber optic cables can transfer data at more than 40 gigabytes per second which makes it very expensive and so it is only used by huge organizations who needs data tra fast data transfer like a laboratory. Now let's take a look at the components of a wireless system. Wireless access point. This allows devices connected to the Wi-Fi to connect to a wired network. Wireless access points can be found in routers built in but they are often available as standalone devices. Switch. This connects devices on a network. Switches have ports that connect to devices through a cable. A smarter way would be to connect a wireless access point to a switch to allow wireless access. Gateway. A gateway is used to connect two different networks like a LAN to a WAN. Router. Stores the address of a connected device to forward data traffic through the fastest route. Most routers have inbuilt switches, wireless access points and even act as gateways. Booster. This amplifies the signal to extend the range. Ethernet cables need boosters every 100 meters, and even Wi Fi would need a booster past the signal limit. Types of servers Authentication server checks usernames and passwords and grants client with an electronic certificate if successfully logged in. The e certificate can be used to access resources like storage or printers. Print server. This manages printers by taking care of print requests from clients and adding the documents to queue. It also could monitor the requests in order to build the department or client who ordered the print. File servers access files shared and private. Application server allows clients to access applications that could be run from the main server. Web server takes care of HTTP requests and manage requests to the World Wide Web.